Remember my recent episode about the base pause cat DNA kit? I got the results for Zsa in the meantime and want to share them with you today. Coming up! Hi there and welcome to my Cat Crazy channel. You might remember a few weeks back I received the base pause DNA test kit and Jaja actually allowed us to swap her mouth which is a really big deal and everyone who has ever met her will know that <laughs> and by the way this little swap is all it takes it's not invasive at all I activated our account and returned the sample to base pause and once they received it I got a notification from them to let me know that they were starting the lab tests which was very exciting. So just a few weeks after that, I received the digital results via email. So Base Paws tests for 115 markers in the meantime, including 43 genetic conditions and 45 traits to understand cat's health and potential genetic illnesses. The report includes feline genetic health markers, genetic markers for blood type, and more than 50 fun and exciting genetic trait markers. Of course, these test results should not replace any clinical evaluation and diagnosis by your veterinarian. However, they might help your veterinarian to be proactive when it comes to any potential health risks or anything your cat may be predisposed to. That means they could treat them before any health conditions might become life-threatening. Plus, it also gives you a dental health report. Poor dental health in cats is more common than many people think. And guess what? I'm so glad we did that test with Jaja because the dental health report turned out to be quite interesting for us. But let's start with the beginning. Here's what you can expect. Base Paws will give you a breed analysis within four main foundational breed groups. The Persian, Western, Exotic and Eastern. And in Jaja's case, surprise, surprise, she turns out to belong to the Eastern breed group by 93%. So just so you know, Base Paws is not a breed identification or ancestry identification test. What they do is uncover breed composition and show breed similarities. According to the report, Jaja shares similar genes to the Oriental Shorthair Cat by almost 83% almost 7% with the Peterbald and almost 3% with the Burmese breed. All three uh, breeds belong to the Eastern category. The remaining chromosomes for Jaja belong in the Polycat category and cannot be appointed to a specific breed composition or lineage. Next in the report are health markers and this is very valuable information for you and your veterinarian. They tested Zsa for genetic health markers associated with genetic disorders. And genetic disorders are conditions that are present at birth or develop later in life and are caused by one or two or more genetic mutations. Genetic markers are mutated gene alleles associated with an increased likelihood of developing a particular genetic disorder. That could be polycystic kidney disease, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, retinal degeneration, etc, etc, etc. Turns out, Zsa is clear of any of these health markers, so she's one healthy little girl. Uh, the next part in the report is fun to read because Base Pause describes feline breeds so that you can understand some of the characteristics of your fur kitty. In Jaja's case, she has a lot of traits from the Oriental short hair cat. And yes, she is very energetic, vocal and attention seeking. From the Peter Bald breed, she might have gotten her affectionate behavior, which she rarely shows, but when she does, she means it. And from the Burmese, she might have gotten her playfulness, which is also a trait of Oriental short hair cats. And of course, it also has to do all of it with the upbringing. Uh, but it'll give you a general idea and this is so much fun to read and find out. The second report we received is Jaja's dental health report. As you can see in the summary, Jaja has a pretty high risk of periodontal issues. Periodontal disease is sometimes associated with a higher incidence of 
chronic kidney disease or cardiovascular problems, diabetes and some autoimmune diseases. So this is something I have to be aware of and bring to attention of our veterinarian. Baseball strongly advised us to adopt a daily dental care routine. In a perfect world, <laughs> this, this would be great, but they don't know Jaja. Ja. Brushing her teeth is not an option because she would turn into a Tasmanian devil in an instant if either one of us would try, and I'm sure Egidius can confirm that, right? Anyway, we'll have to come up with something else, for example, adding period support to her daily meals, and there are so many options for supplements like these. Another interesting part in the dental report shows us what Jaja is mostly eating. So first ones on the list are turkey and chicken and duck, which is not surprising. The next one, however, is flowers. Hmm, and that was surprising to me. And I'm assuming that must be some ingredients in the pet food we give her, since our plants all look intact. I have no idea. Baseball suggests to do another dental test in the upcoming months to see if anything has changed. And we might just do that um, after adding some period support to her diet. So will I buy the Baseball's DNA test kit for my other fur kitties now? Oh, heck yeah. First of all, it is recommended by veterinarians and it might help find out about health conditions early before they become serious. As you may know, cats are the absolute masters when it comes to hiding any illnesses or when they are just not feeling right. And um, this will shine some light on potential health risk factors. All in all, base pass DNA test is very, very, very helpful, interesting and fun to read. I'm a big fan. If you would like to check it out or you know find out more about this, just click on the link I am posting below. And if you'd like to purchase a base paws a DNA test kit for your own kitty, then use the code CATCRAZY, one word, for $45 off. That's all for today, you wonderful cat people. Thank you all so much for your support. Now, hit that like button below and subscribe to my channel and maybe you can catch some cat life. And don't forget, cats rule and so do you.